we have four large things that are happening with the DNS system in the world. The first one that we just heard mentioned is the addition of internationalized CCTLDs. And that is from a technical standpoint, not much more than adding in a couple of new TLDs, but for the users, of course, that has a big impact, and for the various protocols that use domain names, that has a big impact. But it will still be some addition of some TLDs, so the size of the root zone will increase, uh, there will be some new registries added, there will be some more policies added to the global system, and that of course might create some stress. The second change that is happening is that we are going to add DNSSEC to the root zone. There are some CC TLDs and other TLDs that are working on, uh, on, on using DNSSEC. Um, the country where I'm coming from, Sweden, was the first one that signed our zone a couple of years ago but more countries will follow, and the signing of the root zone that is currently scheduled to happen during the first, first half of 2010 will of course create some issues. The size of the responses will be larger, there will be more stress on the, on the uh, root system itself, there are some key management issues, we need to, to know how we're going to handle uh, the request for key management from the top level domains, etc. So the NSSEC edition will require changes in various places, specifically for the people that also want to verify those signatures on the DNS responses. The next thing that is happening, the third, is that we are adding IPv6 addresses for the DNS service in the world. This is something that is called glue records in the DNS. This is also something that creates some changes. The DNS service in the world can no longer only use IPv4, but also IPv6 when there are AC queries. The root servers need to respond to IPv6 queries, the TLD servers need to be able to respond, and clients need to know whether they're going to use IPv4 or IPv6. And this is something that also is a big change. The last thing that is, good, that is discussed are addition to of other TLDs, both international TLDs, international GTLDs, and other uh, top-level domains. And the question there, of course, is whether we're going to add like one, three, or three million of them. Or rather, when you hear me talking about all of these changes, um, myself and many of the others, of course, were a little bit nervous. We have not changed the DNS system much the last couple of years, and then suddenly we're going to make four changes within like six months or something. Um, of course, coming from a technical environment, we know that when we say that something is going to happen within six months, it normally takes ten years. Um, but it's still a very short time period. Because of this, there have been a couple of reports written. I was myself part of writing one report regarding root scaling. There are the, what, the implications on, on root scaling, implications on the stability of the DNS system. There are other reports written as well. And the conclusions from those reports is, is that the number of, for example, TLDs that are added doesn't have so much impact. It is the rate of which the TLDs are added which is, which is the problem. It is the speed of, the rate of the changes we make. Those are the changes themselves that make it creates the stress. The root system is, can accept lots of changes and over time, it is possible to change all, all of it if we have to, but it takes time. 